barely get through here. Pine trees down. Actually, this road is blocked. This is a dead end anyway, but. Uh, Hey! What a mess! Howdy! Well, I haven't seen you in a long time. I just came out here to take some photos of the newspaper. You missed the best part. Clearing the road here. There are trees everywhere. This is actually my cousin's home, uh, Janet and Elmer Moeller on Webb Lake. Tree right in front of their yard. Look at all this. So it, it tipped your pier? It tipped the pier. It's a 64 foot pier. It tipped it over. Wow. Upside down, put the pontoon on top of it. <laughs> the pontoon is on top of the pier. Look at that. Yeah, you can see it. Pine tree has gone down. The end's been cut off so the traffic can get through. Howdy. You know anyone that needs any help? I'm sure there's lots of people around here. He's help. Okay. Look at this mess. Huh? Yeah, really. I bet you've been working some long hours, huh?
other debris. Power lines down. We got down power lines here. This, this is probably not too cool, actually. So we actually got a line, enough pole, and So this is Sunday, a day and a half after the storm, and there are still trees on the road, um, like this one. The top was cut off, but it's still obstructing the road. More wind damage. Sacred Heart Cemetery, big old white pine, it's broken off. Some other thing. So, could, would you mind, uh, would you mind going on video just tell me what happened? Uh, that, or, uh, sure. I mean, just, uh, it was Friday night, right? Sure. <laughs> all right, so we got are you all Pedersons? Yep, yeah. Pedersons. Okay, cabin there on the County Highway E by right. Ben Kinsley Lake. Right. So what happened here? It was Friday night, right? Friday night we were tubing, uh, doing some skiing. It started to get a little dark. I uh, thought we'd come in and uh, make some supper, and uh, and then uh, started getting real dark. Uh, we were out here uh, grilling some food, and then uh, Nikki says it looks like it's snowing across the lake, right? Mm -hmm. And it was a storm coming that quick. It was on us. Our inflatable fun station uh, flew out it's of the gone. lake. It, it flew out of the lake and hit this tree behind us here. Okay. Uh, folded up like a taco. Uh, that's in the backyard in a big pile. And then the uh, tree came down. Uh, it was probably the worst storm I've seen. Nikki, yeah. Chelsea? So, so it came rather quickly then? Oh, it, real fast. Really? Yeah. It came across where that the guy is out there boating. It was here it was less no than 30 warning. seconds. It just, the wind came and that yeah. was it. There was it, no rain, it, nothing. It looks like most of your neighbors have lost a tree or oh, yeah. something. Oh, yeah. I mean, so it's been cleaned up. But yeah. yeah our neighbors, the next door neighbors right there, that big huge pine in the front, that it actually pulled up. You can see the <laughs> sidewalk. The sidewalk is popped up there. It, oh, it didn't go down, but it pulled up. Yeah, this is a day and a half later. Oh, yeah. It doesn't look so bad, but uh, no, it looks a lot better. People have been really working, but you can it. tell the damage. Right, I see some trees over yeah, here. We, uh, yeah. It was so bad we couldn't see out the window, and then we huddled up in the back of the cabin because we didn't, weren't sure if it was a. Uh, so you don't have a basement in your house? No, no. Oh, so you just got right. Oh, I must have been a little scary. Cabins, no bad. Yeah. Yeah, Dicky you, panicked. I was all right. <laughs> 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 Are you thinking you might, you might have a tornado? Yeah, or, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it was that bad. Yeah, 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 absolutely. I was over in Bass Lake, you know, and the wind got pretty bad, but I don't think it was anything like it was over here. Yeah, well, we didn't was, have that much damage, really. Yeah, and then, like I say, we when we did get a peek out there, um, I thought it was my pontoon upside down, but it was the neighbor's boat lift, which was uh, upside down in the back of my pontoon. Yeah. His boat lift was upside with down. The boat. With the boat. Oh, with the boat. It. Oh, yeah. wow. It lifted that right out of the lake. How'd you get that boat off there? I mean, just you know, we we uh, there were six eight of us. The boat actually made it right side up. Got the boat out of there, and then there must have been what eight ten of us who flipped the uh, boat lift back up. Was there any damage to your boat or? No. no. Oh, really? Uh, no. Some scratches on a few of the other boats. The two small boats broke loose no. and hit the neighbor's Structural side. damage. Yeah. No, no. no, we were lucky. Wow. Yeah, boats. he needs a little welding on that, but that's Yeah. Were you here when this happened? We actually, funny enough, we got in about 12.30 Friday night. 
We were coming through State Cloud when it came past the St. Cloud oh, yeah? storm. And we're like, uh-oh. Got here, had no power, that's how we get in, because of the garage door. Yeah. We had to camp out in the car the night, in, the, in that night. Yeah. Just in the morning to find an extra key, because there was a spare key, but we didn't know where to get it. Wow. So we missed the actual storm, um, but we saw it before it was here. Was it hard, was it difficult getting through here? Or? It was, by the time we were coming up around, you know, like 11.30 midnight, it was, Someone had come through, I don't know if it was a state or if someone just locally had come through chainsaws. And just cut it. Anything that was like blocking the road oh, okay. was chopped up and put to the side. Damage here, whoa. Oh, it's crazy. Oh. Did you, you live through this disaster, eh? <laughs> wow. Were you here? Yeah. Friday night? We were all out of the pontoon, the people down there and us. We come, we saw it, came barreling up here and just got on the porch and it all came over. Wow. Anybody have any idea how uh, strong that wind was? Or I've never, it was an article in the Duluth paper, but I haven't read it. just read the headlines that there were 33 people critically injured and one fatality. And then she heard a mass this morning and it was a second fatality. So.